You listen to that music way too loud. You're going to knock out your eardrums. You don't feel like you're sick. You don't have a fever. Yes, well, I'm staying home anyways. Is really? Ned coming over? Is that why you don't want me around? Ned is a happily married man. He loves Jenny, and she loves him. Why don't you accept that? Do you really want to know? Yeah, I really want to know. Well, for one thing, this tape that I found in your bag is very interesting. <laughs> Brenda, you little snicked. I could strangle you. Well, that's old news. How dare you go through my purse? Not like this is the first time. You know, Julia, I think I admire you after all. Oh, why I mean, aren't you? I thrilled to hear that? You really know how to get your man, is what I mean. You want Ned, so you're going after Jenny, right? No, I am not. I would never do that to Jenny. And her ex-lover is a U.S. senator? That's very devious. Look, so... I did not spy on Jenny, okay? Yes. It's right here on this tape. What I don't you didn't spy on What's Jenny? on the tape? I didn't spy on anybody. Okay, so you hired a detective. No, I didn't. Then how'd you get this tape? None of your business. You have listened to the tape, right? I mean, it's very hot. Yeah, a lot hotter than your so-called fever. Of course I listened to the tape. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter how you got the tape. I mean... <laughs> Their marriage is over, right? As soon as you play it for Ned. See, I am not going to play it for Ned. I wouldn't do that to either of them. Oh, are you crazy? You could have him, Julia, like that. Look, I don't want him like that. I have no intention of playing that tape for Ned. It'll destroy his marriage. You have the perfect opportunity to get the man of your dreams. You have the perfect weapon. You're not going to use it? No. Oh. Some role model you turned out to be. Oh. Okay. I'm not a good role model because I won't break up somebody else's marriage, right? I was just joking. Relax. No, you weren't. Listen to me. Ned loves his wife. He really does. And what's on this tape is between him and Jenny, and it's none of my business, and that's why I'll never use it. Okay, okay. Maybe Ned loves his wife. But that does not change the fact. Julia, there's something going on between you two. Oh, I am so tired of hearing this. Ned and I work together, Brand. We know. like each other, that's it. I know you like each other. I've seen the way he looks at you. And I see the way you look at him. Oh. So, do you think I should just go for it? Yes, I would. Of course you would. <gasps> it's safe, don't you see? There's no strings. Well... Julia, maybe you should just try having an affair with Ned. I mean, you might like it. Brenda, it's Lim wrong. That's the difference between you and me. I look before I leap. How are you going to have any fun in life? Fun? Look, having an affair with a married man just leads to disaster. Okay, okay. So, if that's true, if you really believe that, then why don't you tell me why you're still holding on to that tape? Because I'm going to give the tape to Jenny. What? Yes, Jenny has every right to know that somebody's after her. You are actually thinking of giving this tape to Jenny? Yes, and I wish you'd just pretend you never heard it. <laughs> and you really think I'm going to do that? Don't you have a sick bed you should be lying in? Yes, I was on my way there when I noticed that tape in your purse. Mm. Well, it's not in my purse now. Go, go. <sighs> Fine. thinks he can steamroll over everyone. I know, you think he was the only person that lost the painting. Julia, he's creating chaos in this hotel. Every time I turn around, he's doing something to turn things upside down. We could get a short leash. I like the way you think. Yeah, I know, William. Short leash, big collar. No time off for good behavior. 
Ned. I didn't know you were here. How are you? Hello, Brenda. How's your pretty wife? She's fine. Sweet of you to ask. Yes, it certainly is. Now, about that Ecker problem, what I was thinking we could do... You know, Jenny is awfully pretty. But for some reason, I just don't picture you with the redhead. Brenda, Brenda, shut up. Ned, about Eckert. Julia, I was just being honest with him. I mean, you're always telling me to be honest, right? Brenda, is this your way of telling me that you don't think Jenny's my type? No. Well, you guys do have completely different personalities, don't you think? So, uh, what do you see as my type? Ned, you know, uh, Brenda has been sick. She's obviously delirious. She should be in bed. Well, I've been already in bed, and it just made me feel more sick. You know, I think I'd be happy right here on this couch with you guys. You know, so I don't get lonely. I just kind of hang out with you guys. Go ahead. You guys won't even know I'm here. Go on. Isn't this jolly? <laughs> All right. About this Eckert business. Why don't you just leave him to me? I'll handle him. No. I want you to call me as soon as he tries anything. And what do you think you're going to do? If Bill Eckert ever disrupts this hotel again, I'm going to personally and gladly pay him back. What, an eye for an eye? You got it. Oh, that'll look good in the papers. E-L-Q tycoon, Dex art heist victim. I like the sound of it. <laughs> Ned, why don't we just use the iron fist in the silk glove, shall we? Oh, so you have the pleasure of delivering the knockout punch? Yeah. I know William, I know his methods, and I haven't been decked by him yet. We used to do business, remember? He's a snake. <laughs> He's a weasel. He's a loser. Ooh, such praise. Do you really want to get your hands dirty? Dirty with William Eckert? He's a challenge. Oh, that's right. I know how much you love a challenge. Mm-hmm. I've dealt with him in the past, and I'm not afraid to do it again. That is, if you buy me lunch. Wait a minute. Isn't it your turn to buy me lunch? Oh, I'm such a pushover. <laughs> well, Brenda, I hope you feel better. Thank you, Ned. I already do. Yeah, sure you do. You really gonna make me pay for lunch? Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm gonna make some hot tea. You want some? No, no wait. No, no, no. Hey, Ned's on his way over here for a little business meeting, and oh, if you don't mind, Ned's on his way. way. Yeah. yeah. I was getting to worry about you, you know. What are you babbling about, Brenda? Well, you're gonna make your big move today, huh? Do you not you ever make a big stop move? ever, ever? And in the morning time? That's very. Look, boring. I'm not gonna be making a big move today, and you know it. Why not? Ned is on his way over for a breakfast meeting, and somehow it's difficult to talk about business when you flit around in your light gown. So please, if you don't mind, could you? Okay, okay. I'll go to my room. I'll hide out. You can come get me when the coast is clear. Thank you. I appreciate it. Can I 
Get something to eat before I starve really fast. Yes, eat, 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 but hurry up. Okay. Uh, Joya, can you just explain something to me? I really still don't get why you don't just blow Jenny out of the water with that tape of her and the senator. Forget, Forget about the tape. I mean it. Forget it. Okay, okay, it's forgotten. <laughs> oh, here she comes. Sorry, guys, last time. She is going to drive me crazy. You know that, don't you? Mm-hmm. She's loving every moment of it. I know. Anyway, we may have lost a week or two by not getting the word out right away about these packages, but I truly believe in no time at all we will pick up the business revenue that we lost on the weekend. Uh-huh. Oh, here she goes. <coughs> Water. <coughs> Water. The business revenue we lost on the weekends by couples that are having romantic getaways. Oh. Romantic getaways? Oh, God. What are we talking about? We are not talking about anything, Brenda. Oh, by the way, Jenny is having her lunch today with Pamela Kensington at one at the grill, so you should uh, stop by. That's a good idea. Yeah. Listen, I feel confident that one way or another, we are going to get Kensington's back in. I hope so, Ned. Mm -hmm. I'll see you later. OK. Brenda? Yes? It's always a pleasure. No, it isn't. Thank you very much. Oh, what? Excuse me for caring about what happens between you and Ned. What okay? happens between me and Ned are business meetings, that's all. Are you sure we're related? <sighs> Just barely. I don't think we can be related. Julia, would you listen to me for one second, please? All right. It is so obvious that you are crazy about Ned. And you have the perfect opportunity to have him all to yourself. Why are you passing this up? I'm passing it up because I don't destroy people's lives. Okay, I understand that. I do, I understand. But you and Ned were made for each other. Can't you see that? Oh, for one thing, you guys are both completely obsessed with work. Okay, all right. This is the last time I'm going to say this. Forget about that tape, Brenda. I know what I'm going to do with it. I can't believe this. That's why you were calling Jenny earlier, isn't it? You still plan on giving her that tape? Yes. You just don't get it, do you? Hi. Hi. Jenny, do you have a few minutes after your lunch? I wanted to talk to you about something. Sure, what about? Well, Pamela's going to be here in a few minutes, isn't she? Yeah, but that's okay. What do you want to talk to me about? Uh, well, I just, this isn't really the right time, you know, or the place, okay? Oh, I figured it was about the spa, no? Hi. Hello. Pamela, hi. Hi. I'm Julia Barrett. Uh, Ned introduced us the other night when we were having dinner. Oh, yes, I remember. Mm -hmm. It's nice to see you again. Would you care to join us? Get yeah, Julia, that'd be nice. No, but thank, thank you. I'm, I have some work to do, but you two enjoy your lunch. We will. Thank you. Bye, Jenny. Bye.